In today's video, we're going to write the equation of a line in standard form that passes through the points negative 2, comma 3, and negative 4, comma negative 5. I've gone ahead and written standard form on the right-hand side for you. What I want you to notice is that the a, the b, and the c are all just numbers. The x and the y stay x and y. So, with that in mind, Let's go ahead and talk about the steps you need to go through in order to write the equation in standard form. The first step you're going to want to do, this is going to seem a little weird, is to get the equation into point-slope form. So we're going to get it into y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 form first. Then our second step is going to be to convert the equation into standard form. So let's go ahead and take a look. In order to get it into the first step, into point slope form, we need to find the y1, the m, and the x1. So let me go ahead and circle those. The y1 is your first y value. The m is your slope. And the x1 is going to be your first x value. Now, the x1 is really easy to find. x1 is just your first x value. The y1 is pretty easy to find, too. It's just your first y value. And the m is probably going to be the most difficult to find. To find the m, you're going to have to use the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now keep in mind that the 2's and the 1's are just representing which x or which y it is. y2 means the second y, y1 means the first y. These are called subscripts. subscripts. They're the smaller numbers below the letters, they are not, I repeat, are not exponents. They just tell you, again, which x, which y. Okay, so we've got an x1, y1. Let's go ahead and label, and I'm going to label x2 and y2. Right there. Now, the reason I'm labeling x2, y2 is so that we can find the m. Again, we're going to get it into y minus y1 equals m, x minus x1 form. And we need to find the m in order to do that. So let's go ahead and find that m. m is going to be equal to y2, negative 5, minus y1. Now our y1 is going to be 3. And we're going to divide by our x2. Our x2 is negative 4, minus our x1 is negative 2. When we go ahead and do negative 5 minus 3, we get negative 8. And negative 4 minus negative 2 becomes plus a positive. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And we get m is equal to negative 8 over negative 2, which is a positive 4, because a negative over a negative is a positive. So we found out m is equal to 4. We have our m value. Y'all, x1, we already got that, that's negative 2. y1, we have that, it's 3. Let's go ahead and write the equation of the line in point-slope form so we can complete that first step. So y, again, the y just stays y. That's our variable in this situation. Minus y1 represents our first y, so we write y1, which is our 3, is equal to m, we just got through finding m, m was 4, x minus, and our x1, we found out our x1 is negative 2. So we write negative 2. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms and do some distributing. So we got y minus 3 equal to x minus negative 2 becomes plus a positive because minus a negative is plus a positive, and we get 4x plus 2, written out a little more simply. Okay, so we've gotten the first step completely done. Look, it's in this form, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. 
Now all we have to do is to convert it into standard form. Now what I mean by that is if we look at standard form, I want you to notice that the X and the Y are both on the same side. We've got our equal sign right here. And then we've got our C, which is just a number on the right hand side. So what we need to do is we need just a number on the right hand side and an X and a Y's on the left hand side. So we've got to get this X right here onto the left hand side and we've got to get this minus 3 onto the right hand side. Another way to look at it is we've got to get rid of everything but the number on the right hand side and get rid of the number on the left hand side. So let's take a look. We're going to get rid of that negative 3 and I'm going to do that by adding 3 to both sides, but first, let's go ahead and distribute that 4. So let's distribute the 4. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is plus 8. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that minus 3 by adding 3 to both sides. And we get y is equal to 4x plus 11. Now we're on to our very last step. Notice we've got the y on the left hand side, we've got the number on the right hand side, but we still have this 4x here. We don't want 4x on the right hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of that 4x on the right hand side. So we're going to take 4x's away. That says a 4. And we're going to take 4x's away from both sides of the equation. Now, if I take 4x's away from y, it's really just minus 4x, and since that's a positive y, we write plus y. And negative 4x, positive 4x, they cancel out. So, let me go ahead and get rid of some stuff. And we can write our final answer. Our final answer is going to be negative 4x plus y equal to that positive 11 on the right hand side. And there you go, you have written the equation of a line that passed through two points and you've written it in standard form by getting it into point slope form first. And the way we did that was by finding the slope using the slope formula, substituting in our y value, our x value, our y1 and our x1 that is, and then we converted it into standard form by moving the letters and numbers around.